Andrea Ballou. Today I'm going to talk with you about something a little bit different. I'm going to talk with you about having those courageous conversations. This is part of the work that I do as a culture catalyst. Have you ever had a business relationship stop, or even a personal one, where things were left unsaid, maybe there were hurt feelings, anger, in other words, you had unfinished business? <laughs> I know I've done that. In fact, about three weeks ago, I ran into several people that over the course of several years I'd had those situations with. Now you might think that would be a bad week. <laughs> and at first I thought, hmm, but actually it wasn't a bad week. It was a great week because I had an opportunity to close the loop, to finish that business, to take care of those things so I could let go and move forward with my life. And it's really a wonderful thing to do. But it meant that I needed to be prepared to have some of those courageous conversations. And fortunately, I was prepared at that time. So I want to share with you a few things that are important when you're going to have that courageous conversation. Number one is all about your mindset. It's about how you approach things. It's probably not a good idea to have that conversation when you're really mad, <laughs> angry, or ticked off, or feeling really, really sad about something, because usually that means there's some blame happening, you did this to me, that type of thing. It's best to approach that conversation when you're really in a place of wonder and curiosity and wanting to know what happened. <laughs> when you've moved through those feelings, and you can be open to what the other person has to say. So mindset number one. Number two, the language that you use. The language that I've used is go something like this. There was a situation that happened whenever that happened. And honestly, I'm kind of confused about that. And really, I wanted to know if we could talk about it because I just really want to understand. So would you help me understand this? I will tell you, when you approach someone like that, you're not going to get the immediate threat response and the immediate walls that go up. Because, and they'll come, they'll come forward with that information for you. I could tell you that when I had these conversations in the last few weeks, there wasn't a single one of them that blew up in my face around that. If anything, what I found out was that the things that I thought were difficulties weren't difficulties at all. Which leads me to a third point, which is you can't take things personally. You never know what's actually happening or what someone is thinking or feeling, even if they respond negatively toward you. The next thing I want to share with you is this, to listen. Once you open up that door for conversation, be present, listen, be open. Set that judgmental self aside, if you will, that righteous self or that part, that view that wants to be right, and just hear what the other person has to say. Be respectful. I know this might sound like a lot to bring to a conversation when you feel really maligned or misjudged or something's, you've been done wrong, <laughs> I guess. But it does make such a difference and you can let it go and move forward. So I hope that helps and remember all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely play, men and women merely players. So make sure that your play is authentically yours. See you next time.